Hey guys, Nick the Nurse here. Today we're going to be talking about cardiac tamponade as it relates to nursing school exams and acing the NCLEX. You want to do both. Ace your nursing school exams, ace the NCLEX, get your nursing license. That's what it's all about. So let's talk first about some of the risk factors associated with a patient who is at risk for developing cardiac tamponade. Some people say tamponade, tamponade, tomato, tomato, whatever floats your boat. Anyway, risk factors and causes include accumulation of fluid in the pericardial sac. That's what leads to cardiac tamponade. Uh, trauma could certainly uh, to the cardiothoracic region, maybe think auto accidents, stuff slamming up against the steering wheel of a car, carditis or inflammation of the heart, myocardial infarction or an MI, cardiac surgery, tuberculosis, rheumatic fever from all the inflammation, heart attack, and lupus. All of these things can put a patient at greater risk for developing cardiac tamponade. So remember again that cardiac tamponade, you have an accumulation of fluid in the pericardial sac, and it can be caused by trauma, carditis, my, uh, cardiac surgery, tuberculosis, rheumatic fever, heart attack, or lupus. Again, my name's Nick the Nurse. I appreciate you watching my video, and I'll see you next time.